when I was in China, I spent my entire school years in the Chinese Cultural Revolution. So I'm very, very familiar with the communist tactics of how they divide people, how they cancel the Chinese traditional culture and destroy our heritage. And all this is happening here in America. Now they are labeling parents and concerned citizens like me as domestic terrorists. What that can do? You may lose your freedom. I do have a question. What's the next step? Is the Tiananmen Square crackdown the next? Would the parents one day risk their life just to speak out for their children? That's why I'm here. It's not just a chill, it's, a, it's freezing. You know, you're not chilling the First Amendment. You are freezing parents in place about whether to even show up at a school board meeting. You know, um, some school boards are requesting identification and they're wanding people like they're going through a TSA checkpoint to show up to speak on behalf of their children. I, I think it's intimidation, no doubt about it. You know, so they call them racists for a long time, but that did not work. So they have to upgrade to domestic terrorists. But I have to say, this will backfire. If the intimidation works, American has fallen a long time ago. I, I could not believe in America, which is supposed to be the land of liberty, um, somebody uh, could target parents like this. Parents, we are the primary educators for our children. No one can take our place. And to tell us that we had the audacity to speak up for our children was shocking to say the least. Now, now parents are acting in fear. And, um, and I can understand parents not wanting to speak in front of the school board members of the concern because now there is a fear. They've instilled fear within the parents. They created fear amongst the community in which they're supposed to serve as a support. I am scared, yet I believe that I'm living in a time when if I don't speak up for my child and if I don't stand up for what's right in America, um, I don't know what the next generation will be left with. In China, the school, the public school, are really government school. And here, is the same thing is happening here. The radical left has already taken over our educational system. They control the schools, the school board, and other associations, such as teacher association and the national uh, school board association. And they actually have been training our children to be the social justice warriors for a long time. Just because a parent speaks angrily from a podium in front of you for first three minutes and then they cut it down to two minutes, if they speak angrily to you, that's their right. They're your boss. And the organization chart has been flipped where they feel like they are in charge of us. And I think it is responsible for citizens to stand up and speak up about how their taxpayer dollars are spent. Because even if they don't have children in the public school system, your money still goes to school. I think they need to write to the legislatures. I think they need to realize that, that elections do matter. You need to vote for new school board members. The school board is probably the most important election that a person could vote in outside of the, you know, for the presidency of the United States. Don't be intimidated. This is not about um, some, some right. This is about your children, your own children. And for me, this I'm fighting it because it's about our future, the future of this country. So we cannot be intimidated.